Good morning, everybody. Welcome back to a chart nerd technical analysis video. Today, we will be discussing Stronghold. The ticker is SHX against USDT, and we're on the weekly time frame. Now, I have been covering SHX over the past month. I think I've released one or two videos on this project, and my last stance was that we was in this one, two, three, four, five wave correction. I think a couple of weeks ago is when I released an update, and we was back down here on the 8th of July, and I was saying we were looking for a run-up up to previous resistance on this previous high here on the left in January, looking to meet it as resistance for our wave four, before a wave five back down to key support. So right now I think this is the play because we've got this key resistance zone uh, where we had these closes back in February. And right now we're retracing back down to these lows here of January. And this is our key support zone. So from these candle closes to this wick low down here at 0.0032, this is where I think at the moment we are trying to get to on the weekly time frame because we've had this wave one down to support. We had a wave two and we found support on this local high. We had a wave two back up into resistance, which was a lower high than the, the current all-time high, indicated depleting buying pressure. And at this point, we came down for the wave three. Now in this wave three, this is where it was important because we came back and we lost this level of support right here. And we in fact confirmed it as resistance. So right now, this wave four is our key resistance point. If we are to see this final wave five down to key support zone, this wave four above us here at 0.005 is gonna be our key resistance moving forward. Uh, and that is primarily because one, it was this high as resistance in January. It was our support for the wave one in April. And we've now confirmed it as resistance in the latter part of this year from June into July. So right now, this is the key level that if we are to see any sort of relief in the coming weeks, 0.005 is the key level for us to get back above in order to see retracement back to these local highs, which we've fallen from. So right now, I think the trend is our friend until the end. We are in this five wave, potential five wave correction, or it equally could be some sort of large A, B, and this is a very overextended C wave looking to come back for support. But my, in my honest opinion, I do think right now, because we're running into this resistance at 0.005, and because we're failing to break above it and seeing strong rejection for it, the way to validate this wave five back to our key support zone is simply by losing is simply by losing the current level of support that we have right here so if we fall below 0.004 then this would indicate to me that we are looking to come back and retest these potential lows back here in this key support zone for a final fifth wave uh, and just getting that back on the chart for us so we've got the wave one the wave two, the wave three, shallow wave four into resistance, and then a five wave, uh, the fifth wave back down to these lows here. So right now, this is the play for me for Stronghold. I think there is still further downside to come. Now, if we look at the daily time frame and analyze our EMAs, so what I've got on is the 20 EMA, which is this yellow line, and I've also got the 55 EMA, which is this red line. You can use the EMAs as a guidance tool for trend direction. So for example, when we're above the EMAs and holding them as support, you can see we're above the yellow, above the red. This is an uptrend. When you start entering below the EMAs and hitting your heads on them, this is where you enter a downtrend. So right now, what you'll notice is that the trend is our friend until the end. We did put this death cross in back here on the 4th of June. And since then, you can see that this yellow, line the 20 ema and this red line the 55 have been acting as key resistance so right now the trend is our friend until the end and st until we start sort of getting back above these emas and holding them in support and flipping them into support instead and holding above them we're in a downtrend we are in a downtrend it's as simple as okay and this death cross and the hit of resistance on these emas right here was the confirmation for a pullback now right now as I've said, we're hitting this 20 and 55 as resistance. We are holding a key level of support right now. And this is the area that we, I think SHX is at a minimum trying to get to 0.004, retracing back to this wick low, which we had here on the 
5th of July. So all we've done is put in this low on the 5th of July, ran back up into the red 55 on the daily. And right now we're seeing rejection back down to this low. So it's all about holding this 0 0.004 because failing to hold that and sweeping this low right here, I think that gives us more confluence on the weekly that we are looking to, to put in this final fifth wave back down to this key support zone. And at that point, if we do retrace to these previous wicks at 0 0.003, I think this is where we could have this correction over here and start looking to, 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 to flip the switch. Now, there is something negative also on this chart right now and it's where on the weekly time frame we're here guys on the weekly we've got the yellow ema coming down and we've got this red ema coming down what we don't want to see on the weekly is a death cross because if we see a weekly uh, a weekly death cross and we sort of come back here and rally into this as resistance and fail to break above that death cross this could be the indicator that we're coming back for an even steeper correction okay and we're in one really big corrective move before looking to explode now that hasn't happened yet it hasn't happened and we do still have this last leg of support down here which is where i'm expecting our wave five to come to but at that point if we do form a death cross after coming down to this low and rally into it then this is not a good sign for us moving forward okay so we don't want to see the death cross come into play what we want to see is the final fifth wave back down to this key support level on the left and at that point finding support and starting to to reverse the trend here and sort of work our way back up to these highs which we fell from so we need to hold this low on the left here the 22nd of january 2024 low needs to hold if we are to see further pullback and, and negating that if we don't hold that as support i think where we could find our next support target would roughly be so if we lost these local lows so retracing from the all-time high back down to this low right now which is the trend that we're in we're sort of coming back down to this low if we lose this low at 3317 and do run up into say a death cross and meet that as resistance my next target for shx would be 0 0.00215 but that is only the case if we lose these lows at 3317 uh, because equally as i said we could have had this five wave move down and this is the low where we start hovering around for a bit building a base and then looking to to retrace back to to the highs that we fell from so it's all about holding key support right now we are closing below this weekly 55 ema that's not really a good sign you want to hold these emas as support when you're above them okay i said when you're above the emas you're in an uptrend when you're below them and you're hitting your heads on them this is indicating a downtrend so we need to see ourselves get back above these EMAs here or equally come down, hold a level of support and then look to get back above them again and reverse, reverse this, this sort of death cross that looks to be coming. We need to reverse it. So key points to take away from this SHX update, 0 0.003 is the key support level and the potential wave five. So wave five back down to support hold here and build a base great look to retest levels of resistance we've previously fallen from failing to hold support on this level i think on the macro scale of things coming into august september then potentially we could be coming down to the 1272 target before getting our relief and looking for the breakout here so that's my update for you today guys i hope you enjoyed the content if you did please do give it a thumbs up a comment and maybe even subscribe if i'm lucky from chart nerd ta take care peace out